This is video two in the AC theory unit, and we're going to look at phases. Now, phases are very similar to vectors. Here's a um, representation of current, which is a phasor. Voltage can also be a phasor. They have magnitude, they have direction, and a point of application, like a vector. But the thing they have in addition is rotation. So phasors rotate around a reference point. Now the reference point in this first diagram is voltage. And we've got 6 amps there in phase with the reference. The second current, B, is 5 amps and it's an angle of minus 90 degrees. Now it's minus 90 degrees because if you think of the phases going round anti-clockwise, shown by the arrow, then this B phaser of 5 amps is 90 degrees behind the reference voltage. Let's put a third phaser in there. We've got 8 amps at 50 degrees. It's a positive 50 because it's in front of the reference. It's If we look anti-clockwise, the 50 comes before the reference, so it's a positive angle. And what we need to be able to do is to add these three phases. First thing we're going to do is to add the first, the green and the, the red, the in phase and the minus 90. And we're going to do it similar to the vectors, we're going to draw a parallelogram. So we're going to draw two lines that are parallel to the 6 amp and to the 5 amp. And then the resultant of this A and B will be the hypotenuse of that triangle that's formed. We're then going to add this resultant to the current C, which is our 8 amps. So I'm just going to take that detail away there, and we're going to draw a parallelogram now with the 8 amps and that resultant. So that blue dotted line is parallel to the blue 8 amps, and the red dotted line is parallel to the red resultant. The final resultant is from the point of application to the corner there, the, the hypotenuse of the triangle that's formed. And if we draw this to scale, I get a figure of 11.2 amps. If I put my protractor on there, I get just over 6 degrees, about 6 degrees. 